Oh my god, this thing is just so fast. I don't know if I can handle it. Well, I guess before I spend money, I gotta sell my gold first. I decided to get a little energetic, maybe a little bit greedy. And Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Gold Rush the Game. As you can see, I have been busy. Uh, I've been uh, pulled an all-nighter last night, running both those wash plants. I uh, was up working till 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I got 28 buckets, so we're going to go process those pretty soon here. Process those pretty soon here. Uh, I did hire, decide to hire somebody. Um, if you're wondering where all my gold went, I decided to actually sell it. Uh, I ended up getting about 70 grand, plus the... F Seven I had gave me like 74 or something, and I bought the claim. So there is no rent. This is all ours for the taking. Uh, but yeah, if I'm wondering about this here, oh yeah, uh, another thing about the worker there, I got him working the hog pan there, and in 24 hours he's got me two ounces of gold, and that's actually enough to pay for more than enough to pay for the fuel I used in the excavator. And running those two wash plants all night. So that is actually really good. Now what I'm planning on doing is I want to see if I can get enough gold out of here to not only get another claim. Let me just show you here. I was checking out uh, Pine Valley here. Pine Valley actually has a really high gold uh, output. Uh, the only thing is though is this is the closest water source right here. But, now that we have the hose connections, that's not a problem. Uh, it is 91,000. I probably will have to get another front-end loader for that. Uh, that's actually something I might try. See if we can fix that loader, maybe see if I can transport it and see if it fixes the problem. But, let's go uh, process this gold, see what I got. Uh, I'm hoping for 100 ounces, but I highly doubt it probably be somewhere around 70 or 80 but uh, let's get out and we'll get a little processing station going and there's the power and the water go ahead and start that and when I'm done this I'm gonna have to take that trailer in too because that's gonna be full all right so that's one we have just over two ounces and I will bring you back when I'm down to the last bucket. And there we go. That's the last bucket. Uh, it wasn't as, uh, as I was expected. It looks like just over 50 ounces, which is what I had when I started. When I moved over there before I bought the claim. So the claim's been paid for. And everything else has been taken care of. So what I think I'm going to do... Because if I have 52, that's going to give me about 65 grand plus that. Uh, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to actually buy Pine Valley. I'm going to take a mobile wash plant with me. I'm going to take the big excavator, and then we'll see how it does. I'm going to leave one of these wash plants here, and I'm going to see if I can hire somebody to run the small excavator to use that wash plant. Since I don't have any rent to pay on this, this is it's free money. It's already paid for itself. So, let's, uh, actually, I gotta go run to the bank. So, I'm gonna, I'll uh, meet you there. Okay, I'm just on my way to the bank now. I think I got, what was it, just under 50 ounces, because it, it was like a five and a quarter ounce loss. Uh, if you look, my gold is slowly dwindling upwards. I hope I put the brake on. I can't remember. Anyway. Let's go ahead and sell that. 58,000 gives us 102. So now I was looking at this here. We got this one, we own this one, so it's uh, price per square foot, rent, and uh, low gold. And I was thinking about Rivertown, there's actually a creek that goes right through the, the dig site right here. But I thought we may as well go for Pine Valley because it's, it's high. Uh, and yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So we'll go ahead and buy that. And, and i got to come up with a little bit more money because we have to move some equipment, or one piece of equipment. And then what I'll do is for the Tier 3, I'll get that set up there first, more than likely. That's not what I wanted to do. So, Alright, now, let's head over to the equipment shop. 
we'll send the big excavator over there. That uh, was back there. At the same time, too, I'm going to actually sacrifice the three grand to put the front end loader into storage. And then I'll go to the claim and make sure it's there. And then come back here, put it back at the claim. All together. It's going to cost me 3000 but we'll see if that actually fixes it because I don't want to have to spend 48 grand to sell this one and buy another one. I just let it run. Why not? Okay, so transfers. Uh, big excavator. You go to Pine Valley. And then uh, confirm that. And then the storage. We'll put the front end loader. Confirm that. Alright. Now I head back to the claim and see if it's there. Okay. It is gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up a few things here. Grab my spare hoses. Go grab one of the wash plants there and I'm also going to sell that magnetite too because I'm going to need a little bit of cash and because I want to buy another wave table another, yeah, we're gonna need another wave table, another generator and I have a spare pump here so it's not that big of a deal but anyways let me take care of the stuff and I'll bring you back when we're on, our, on the road to Pine Valley I just had one of those WTF moments. I drove over the mound here. Where the hell was my exca excavator? Then I remembered I had transferred it. Yeah. Uh, I was going to pick up the wash mat. I was wondering, thinking maybe of just buying another one, but I don't really have enough money for it because I want to get another wave table and magnetite set separator for the other claim. So, yeah, I want to pick, take one of these. I got to get another generator of course it's only like 350 but anyways I thought I'd just show you my little heart stopper there okay I'm all loaded up here and I thought I'd just stop here for a moment uh, originally I was thinking of sending this back to old sending the loader to the old claim but I think maybe we'll send it to Pine Valley and see if it's actually fixed all right, it was only 1500 even though it's further away, so that's good. All right, so now I just got to pick up a generator, and then we got to go for a little bit of a drive. Well, I got to go for a little bit of a drive. Because uh, I'm here, I got to drive all the way down here, up here, all the way over, up to Port Ripley, and then cross up over there, because there's my equipment right there. So, I shall see you there. And then once we get there too, is, uh, I'll check the tablet and see if I can hire someone from there to actually operate the other claim because I did have somebody that was wanting like 550 a day and apparently uh, he d doesn't really say anything about what they do and as far as like that actual time thing, I have no idea. Oh, generator. Anyway, I'll... I'll bring you back at the claim, or if I see something interesting on the way. Hmm. The road is closed. But there is a shortcut. I actually know it's still on the map here. Uh, where is it? The line goes through over to a bridge. You can see that's at the actual road itself. So that's just letting you know you got to put your differential back on. And I gotta try to work this wash plant down this teetery little thing. I wonder what happened to this town. Like, if there's all this gold around, why is it this place deserted? It's a barren wasteland. That is quite interesting. It's almost like the economy went bankrupt. And they didn't even ha realize they had the gold under the ground. And I cannot drive. I don't know why. But yeah, I'll bring you back if that bridge is any interesting. Well, it's looking like we got a bit of a climb ahead of us. Yeah, I haven't watched too many playthroughs. I think I saw a little bit of Rivertown, but that was about it. Wow, look at this. Ooh, there's a nice waterfall. 
No, I can't see. Bushes are in my view. Okay. Uh, oh, I do not want to get out. I want to check the map and see which way I gotta go. Could be a shortcut. But I'm not gonna chance it. Anyway, I'll be back. And here's the quaint little town of Port Ripley. Nice, cozy little neighborhoods. Well taken care of. They must have a good life. Anyway, it should be just around this corner, I think. Let me see here. Yep. Over the hill and through the woods. Nice little lake there. I find it interesting how they, how they block off the paths that you can't go. On a road, there was a tanker that was falling over. Back there, there was a tree crossing the, the actual dirt road and driving on, so you couldn't actually go that way if you wanted to. So it's interesting, a wall for an invisible wall, so to speak. But this will probably be it. Oh, nice view. Look at that. There's a thumbnail right there. Pine Valley. Beautiful. Why do they always have these narrow gaps? I mean, honestly, how do they get excavators to that tiny little opening? Oh, well, here it is. Let's go check out the homestead. See what we got around here. See if uh, the old neighbors left us anything. Or not neighbors, uh, renters. Ooh, we have a house. Can we actually go in the house? Oh, water right here. Oh, that's right, yeah, the water's right on the dig site. Uh, yeah. Something tells me I'm not supposed to go that way. Something tells me I'm not supposed to get in there. Anywho, let's, uh, let's go check out the dig site. See what kind of dirt we got here. Yeah, loader's still screwed. Oh, that's a shame. Anyway. Oh, I like this one. Somewhere in the area where I live, there's a huge amount of mountains. And I just love them. Oh, this looks like, looks like a great spot. Where is that water again? It goes right behind me. Uh, oh, it's way over there. I thought I, saw, I thought I saw water over here somewhere. Uh, I think it was all the way back there. Yeah, there was a, a little creek right at the front here, was there not? You know what? Let me, let me take this thing off. Hope I didn't lose anything on the way. Alright. Uh, that's not where I want to go. Yes, this way. Could, was, could have sworn there was like a little creek I crossed over. That's going to be where we set up the wash plant. I think we can actually set up a conveyor here. Yeah, there's water right here. Let's see if I can actually use this. Uh, where's that water filter? Oh, other way around. Excuse me. There we go. Where did it go? Oh, I lost my hose. I threw it too hard. It's got to be around here somewhere. Uh, apparently not. Oh well. I'll have to buy another one, I guess. If I can use this water, this will be fine. Okay, that's what I want to do. So I'll put you down. Where is that water pump? Gimme, gimme. There we go. Oh, and I got the background again. Skip that. No. Uh, there we go. That's better. 
You can't even fill it when it's in that state. I just realized that the icon didn't come up. There's the hose. Oh. All right, we got spooky ground here. Okay, we won't do that. All right, that, that. So I just want to see if we can actually hook up to that water stream there. Put that there, and... It does work. Sweet, we got water right here. Perfect. That works out great because we got the wash plant right there. So let me get everything uh, all set up and then we'll do a test dig and then I'll have to take that back to the other claim. Actually, I can go and buy the wash plant and or wave table magnetite set and bring them back here. Anyways, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, I, uh, as you can see, I bought a trailer. I had to pick up a few more things, hoses. I uh, picked up a water splitter in there somewhere. Uh, where is that box? Where is that thing? Looks like an amplifier. Yes, this thing. So then, yeah, I use a pump and the, the big hose goes in here. Which means I need another hose. I should have enough because we're actually pretty close to the water source. I'm actually going to set everything up here. So, it's you know close for me for now but yeah uh, let me get this all straightened out and uh, bring the big boy over and we'll do some digging all right so I got the wash plant all set up I lost a hose and a hose connection here somewhere I have no idea where it went I think it clipped to the ground over there somewhere and then what I did is I uh, put my little friend there my little helper Norman on a small excavator that I claim and I'm just checking to see how much cold he's doing right now. Yeah, he's doing about double what he was doing on the hog pan. He's actually doing pretty good right now. So, that is good. So, uh, let's, uh, let's actually get a little closer here. And I was actually going to try to bring it right over to where all the stuff is there, but, you know, it's missing a hose. Now, oh, I didn't turn that on. Oops, that's, uh, let's put the parking brake on, let's get out. Yeah, what game is it that you tab to get out? I can't even remember now. But anyway, let's fire up this thing and see how this is. Now, I'm hoping it's going to be like five ounces. But we shall see. Let's actually go out a little more. Sometimes these controls can be a little tricky, especially when you got the E there, and I might have to rebind the exit key to something else, so I'm not always exiting out of the thing. Now, I'm wondering if you got a higher dirt, uh, gold percentage of the, if the bucket fills up quicker. But I am going to get this bucket filled. Uh, take about a minute, and I'll bring you back when it's time to run through the, look, the, processing stuff all right I'm down to the last bucket here uh, I was actually thinking about it uh, since I can't use the loader if I move it back to the other claim if uh, someone out here can actually use it even though the bucket is broken and uh, yeah that's gonna be the full bucket uh, let's go check this out because then what I might do is I might actually get the tier 3 still set up at the uh, old arm and parcel and get somebody else running it. Alright, so let's turn that off. And let's start, oh, hit the start button to start it. And see what we get out of this. Yeah, it's about the same magnetite. So it's supposed to be a high yield in this area. Uh, so stop that. Uh, I never did hook up all the extra hoses and stuff like that. I gotta go do do another supply run eventually, because I lost some hoses and oh yeah, Z cord. And yeah, he he could be doing a little bit better. He's earned me about a tenth of an ounce already, which isn't bad, but it could be better in a small excavator. But he's a low paying w worker, so it's no big deal. Um, oh, it's like, why is there no water? Well, now there's water. And I keep getting stuck on everything. So let's go turn that on. And let's see, take our gold bucket. So we're at 1.9. Let's see what we get. 
hoping it's good. But mind you, this is just right on the top, too. One and a half. You know what? I'm going to run another bucket. May as well. So I'll be back. Okay, here we are with the second bucket. I actually dug this one a little deeper, and we'll see what we get. Uh, like I said, it's supposed to be a high yield. It doesn't exactly say how much gold is, is expected. But we shall find out. All right, so now we go and hook. Well, we'll need that, just not right now. We need water first. If that's on this side. Come on, I can reach that in real life. Yes, I do have to get a better power situation set up. And uh, better crosshair aiming, too. And look at this, my cords are all getting mixed up. So, we're at 3.3. And let's see what we can get here. Uh, it could be this one area, too. Like, maybe there's telltale signs. Like, maybe the darker patches would be a higher yield than the lighter patches. Or deeper would be better. That was actually a really bad bucket. So maybe it's got to do with the area. And it could be. Oh, we can see. We can see the ground. Alright. Well, this seems to be working out so far. Uh, it's another claim. It's more gold. So what I'm going to probably do is I might I might do some work here and then get Get my other guy doing some more work over at the other claim. And we'll try to get up enough gold to get uh, tier 3 going at old Arnold Parcel. And then we'll get uh, a little friend over there to run the, run the loader since I can't actually use it. Just because the bucket's screwed like that. But I'm pretty sure he will use it because if I go there you won't actually see him in the excavator or the hog pan pump. Uh, if he's using that. But anyways, I think I'm going to call the episode here. Uh, try to get some, I was hoping a little bit better gold in my test digs, but I'm sure it's tons of gold in this area. I'm going to strategically dig this one out again. I was thinking about it instead of just doing this, which <laughs> we all know is wrong. I might start at the edge here and just start taking the wash plant with me as I go around until we get a tier 3 set up here. And then just start using the loader, and hopefully, hopefully by I, by the time I get to that stage, they'll have fixed this bug. Because for some reason, I don't know if it's just sloppy workmanship or what, but yeah, the bucket is still messed up. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.